What's going on guys? It's your boy Fang Mobile Gaming here. Yes, we are back on Honkai Star Rail. No, I didn't quit. I know you guys have been seeing that I've been uploading a lot of Black Clover Mobile stuff. Again, just to make sure we're all on the same page here, that I am maining both Honkai Star Rail and Black Clover Mobile. I am playing both games as main games. Anything else outside of these two games will be considered a side game for me. Um, we're obviously focused on Black Clover Mobile right now because it's obviously a new game, it's a new account. I gotta get essentially to the end game first before we get bored with it and not really do as much videos, Hawkeye Star Rail. After this video, which is gonna be me getting the Equilibrium rank up, which I want to showcase for you guys. Essentially, we're at the end game. So, I mean, there's nothing really to do aside from, you know, get whatever you want done in the game and then that's it. Now, I know a lot of players was waiting for the patch 1.1 stuff today. I mean, honestly, after doing all my reroll purgatory stuff from Black Clover Mobile yesterday, I, I wasn't even worried about the patch 1.1. So when I saw that it was delayed, I'm like, I don't mind waiting. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to do it tomorrow when it's supposedly going to go up. I might have to wait till Sunday because we'll be pretty busy tomorrow with some other stuff. And I do have my first impressions video from Black Clover Mobile going up tomorrow as well. Um, uh, so when it comes to uh, stuff like, I know it's a lot of players thought that I probably wasn't going to be playing Hawkeye Star Rail anymore. Essentially, when it comes to like quitting gacha games and stuff like that, I don't really, essentially depending on the game, if it's good enough, I won't really quit the game. And I might go on what's called a quiet quit. So if you guys never heard of quiet quitting before, quiet quitting is basically, instead of like when you go to your job, Instead of like putting in your two weeks notice or you tell your boss that you straight up quit, you might essentially just go through what's called a quiet quit where you just do the least amount of work as possible. You don't put in any effort or anything. You kind of just do exactly what's asked of you. No extra effort. You don't care about the consequences. Just it is what it is. That's pretty much what I do when it comes to gacha games. So Hawkeye Star Rail and Black Clover Mobile or any other game that I play, if I would consider it for quiet quitting, Essentially what I look for is does it have an auto battle? Does it have a skip function? If it does have an auto battle, I know this might not make sense to some of you guys, but essentially the least amount of work I need to do, meaning the less walking around and a lot of clicking on stuff, I ain't trying to do none of that. If I can just click on one thing one or two times and then let it play itself, perfect. Now when it comes to auto battling, I like it to where when it lets me out of battle on stage, if I know I'm going to use up all of my stamina on that one stage or if I'm trying to do like a, a big dungeon or something like that, if I can have it to where it just goes through all the stages and lets me use up all my refreshes on auto, I can just, it's like a one button, one shot stop. I can let this stuff play on like the background on my phone or just let it, leave it on my PC, go take a shower, go eat, I can go do other stuff. While the game plays itself, I know a lot of people hate the term of the game playing itself, but this is good for people like me that either don't have time to play it or we're on a quad quit, where it's like, I don't really care about the game right now, I don't care about whatever event is going on, I just want to come in here, still get the resources, so that way when I am ready to play the game again, I still would have been collecting all my resources up until then. Now, depending on the game, I may not do everything in the game essentially, I'll just go for whatever I need. So let's kind of go over real fast for we get into this equilibrium rank up. What I would do if I was the quad quit Hawkeye Star Rail. Now, I'm not there yet, but when I do get there, because I'm going to get there eventually for the quad quit for Hawkeye Star Rail. What I would do in this game on a quad quit, I can tell you right now what I won't do is simulate a universe. I can see right now I haven't done it because essentially I've just been busy with Black Clover Mobile, but if I was the quiet quit, similar universe is out of the question for me because number one, the rewards that you get, although they're not bad, essentially, the main thing I'm gonna be doing it for is relics and I can easily just grind out my relics before I quiet quit and I don't have to worry about it. Yes, you can still get the uh, little ore thingies. I know that's important, but on a quiet quit, I'm probably not gonna any care anyway. Um, I, I will use my stamina every day because essentially you need to use your stamina. That's how you pretty much get everything in the game. So I will use my stamina up. It would be nice if Hawkeye did add a future to let me use all my stamina at once, like we just talked about. Um, doing the dailies would be worth it because the rewards that you get, the credits essentially is why I would quite quit that. Um, the Echoes of War. 
we would definitely want to do. We're going to do Michael's of War on this video as well, but Echoes of War we want to do because it's a weekly resource. We definitely would do that, but that'll probably be all I would quite quit for. I would do my Echoes of War. Once it's done, you don't have to do it anymore. Do my dailies, run all stamina. That's it. Quit the game and that's it. So that's pretty much what I would do on a quiet quit. That way, when I do come back to the Hawkeye, I would essentially still have gathered a lot of credits. I would be gathering resources or relics, so I'll still be able to pretty much keep up with the game while not really playing if that makes sense to some of you guys. So that's what I would do on a quiet quit. Um, I'm going to be doing a first impressions video of Black Clover Mobile probably tomorrow most likely. And uh, what I would do on a quiet quit with that game as well is essentially, it, it would be pretty easy because they have a pretty good auto battle system on Black Clover Mobile. So I say they're set up pretty nicely to uh, quiet quit both of these games. So these being main games for me is perfect. So I'm kind of glad that we are kind of optimized when it comes to our quiet quit, essentially. Don't mess with me. Now, I don't ask for the delay in the patch 1.1 stream. I don't really know why they delayed it. I know when I went to get it when I got home, I wasn't able to. It just said that the stream was taken down. So they probably had some technical difficulties. I'm not 100% sure. And as I thought, this uh, this equilibrium rank up is going to be pretty easy. Now, just like my last equilibrium rank up that I did, I'm probably going to be. I know I'm not going to have enough materials, most likely, which is going to be perfectly fine. I did do a lot of credit farming before we did this, so hopefully, I have enough credits to at least get a few of my characters. The biggest thing that we're looking for here is obviously the double relic grind, essentially. That's the main thing I was expecting out of this, so. I'm gonna try to take out these side eyes, but I'm, I really am tired of seeing my characters hit like crap. So I can actually do a proper relic form to get sub stats to do more damage. Yeah, man, I'm nowhere close to being burnt out on the game. I still have fun with the game. I mean, I'm not one of those people that wish there was more to do. I'm perfectly fine with waiting until the last day to do my simulated universe. I mean, it's all about the grind. We got patch 1.1 coming in June, and so not a big deal. We'll have more content. I mean, it's anyway, I, I got to level up all my characters anyway, so I got plenty of stuff to do to keep me occupied. So that's why I kind of say Black Clover Mobile came at the perfect time, essentially, because I can, like, while I don't have a lot to do on Hawkeye Star Rail, it's the perfect time to get stuff caught up on a Black Clover Mobile, essentially, so. This guy's almost dead. So after we get this equilibrium rank up, I am not going to waste my time uh, showing you guys how many resources you get for the Calyxes. Uh, players have already calculated and showcased what you get at the next Equilibrium rank. Your Calyxes still drop like shit. Um, I believe the purple resource, you're able to get it 2x faster now. So instead of you doing it six to eight times to get a purple drop, you're able to get it on like three or four times. That's the only difference. So again, my problem with the resources is that you still I mean, they ask you for more for the resource, but you're still forming for the same amount, essentially. It's not going to be a difference, so. But again, patch 1.1 should address this with the double X drop, so we'll wait to see when the patch comes. I don't really care about the chat function, but we'll see what else is coming with the game. I don't really want to be a news channel for Honkai Star Rail. I kind of want to showcase other stuff, but essentially that's all there is to do with Honkai Star Rail is just news and leaks. So there's already people doing that, so I'm going to leave that to them. I am still... I, I, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm still burnt out after yesterday. It took me six hours of rerolling on Black Clover Mobile just to get what I wanted. Six hours is a very long time. 
But as soon as I got done, and I knew it was time for me to go to work, and then I got home. I originally planned to do the reaction to the live stream, but since that got canceled, I was like, thank God. Because I actually uh, hit level 60 earlier this morning, so... Perfect time to knock this video out before I go to bed. Okay, what are we doing here? So I'll probably end up doing my simulated universe probably Sunday. I usually do them all at the end of the week anyway. That way I don't miss out on all those rewards. But this is the first time that I've waited to do my Echoes of War. Obviously this is the proper way to do it when you know you're going to rank up before it resets. But I never did that because I was just impatient. Alright, so we're almost going to kill this person. So what I'm going to showcase is the Echoes of War to see how many we get. The Calces, we know drop like crap. Uh, I don't think we're going to get any more experience or credits. Because I think we have all the stages unlocked already. So, so that is it. We got the Equilibrium rank up. And we don't really get anything for hitting it initially. So we're now going to talk to Pom Pom. See what he has for me. Okay, so I gotta go level 61. I forgot I did already play my awards already. Okay, so that's fun. Alright, so uh so level 60. We need to Okay, so simulated universe. Which I really don't care about if I'm being honest. Uh we now have the next difficulty unlocked. So we now have uh, the level 3. Now the level 4 is pretty much the only reason why you would want to go to a Trailblazer level 70, which I, I, I'll be honest, I don't really care about my Trailblazer level anymore because we get the double relics. I do believe we should get double relics for this now, the similar universe. Level 70, we'll have to wait and see if somebody hits it, but that's going to be the only reason why you would hit it is just to get the last difficulty for that. Uh, I keep hitting the wrong button. Okay, so for the Calyxes, we already have the max difficulty, so we don't get anything extra. Or do we? Why was it on four? Uh, I feel like... Maybe I'm tripping. I don't know. You guys can look at your game to see. I, I honestly don't remember if this was... I don't think this is new. I'm pretty sure it's the same. Uh, we know that the Calyxes has a new one. So there it is. So we, again, all you're, all you're getting at this rank is you're just going to have this purple one drop 3, 2x more now. So instead of the 8, 6 to 8, it's now 3 to 4 times. But again, our characters now need so much more to invest. Let's see exactly how much they need. So for wealth, Yeah, they need 10. I mean, you still need a lot, so it doesn't really matter. You're still forming for the same amount. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and level up. I wanna start with Sealy first. I'm probably gonna run out of credits, but whatever. So she is now able to go to level 80. Can we take her there? Perfect. Level 80, exciting. Yes, I know my Sealy's attack is only 1,905. Why is her attack only 1,905? Because I did my Relic Grind at TL40. I did that to initially get all my characters with the Relic Sets that I wanted for them for a pre-end game. There was no reason for me to uh, Relic form. I just wanted to get the Relic Sets themselves. This is going to give me enough stats to get to this point. Now that I'm at TO level 60, I can now form for better relics and get her attack at a better level. So it's that's why my Sealy is low like that. Uh, we're gonna wanna take Welp next. And we have enough to level him up. Amazing, we're not running out of credits. But we did run out of experience, which is fine. 
I'm okay with that. Okay. And then, and we get Himiko. And then we should have enough for the light cone. Now we get kind of low on credit, so I'm not going to put any experience into that. I'm going to get Welp, because he is my support. And then we'll get the Trailblazer. And then we got Himiko. Alright. So I got 305 left. Let's see if we have any light cone experience. I didn't inform that. We got enough to go plus 7. Alright, so level 77. I got my first 80. So I'm perfectly okay with that upgrade. In case you guys didn't know. My secondary team, I do have uh, all kind of caught up too, with the exception of the traces. So Bailu, Japard, Jin Yuan, Tin Yun, and Sushang, they are all level 70 with their light cones at 70 as well. So they're kind of like my secondary team for the Forgotten, forgotten Hall. Um, I just need to work on their traces. Sushang and Jin Yuan got some traces invested into, but Bailu, Japar, they don't have any traces, so that's okay. So level 70, we're going to do this Echoes of War. And uh, what we want to go for is because I didn't have any for Jin Yun. Uh, let's see. Uh, he needs the uh, flower. So let's see how hard this thing is going to be. I have one character that's at least there. Alright, let's see how hard it's going to be. And I'm just going to put this on auto because that's what I would do anyway. Let's see if this team can handle it. Alright, so this is definitely taking a minute, but again, it's, I'm perfectly fine with this taking forever to kill, essentially. I got other stuff I could be doing. That's why a healer is necessary, and I can tell you right now, Natasha would not be able to keep my team up. Alright, so let's see how many we get out of the Echoes of War. We get the kill, and we get... We do get double relics, and we get... Three. I'm assuming I probably got unlucky and you can probably get four. Alright, so uh, let's see. Uh, what am I using on Celia again for her relics? We're using the Quantum Set. Okay, Quantum Set. It's going to be right here. Let's go ahead and pop a stage and see how hard it is to complete this stage. Uh, they're also weak to fire. Right, see how long it's going to take to form this. Now, mind you, once I get better relics on them, then it's going to be pretty quickly. We'll be doing more damage. I feel like most players have hit that level 50 on their player rank, but I know there's probably a few people that may be like level 46, 47. They may haven't hit level 50 yet, so for those few people, uh, just keep in mind that you are able to get double relics at TL 50. It's just, it's like a 50-50 shot if you do get that 50. Here it is a guaranteed, so I just wanted to showcase that it is guaranteed. We got the guaranteed on the Echoes of War. We're going to get it here when we form the actual stage. Now, when I did level up my Gen Yuan because I had to get his relic sets, I probably got double relics like maybe twice out of the eight times it took for me to form it. So, the 50 50, I pretty much was probably just unlucky. But I didn't really see double drops that much. But it does help in case you get shafted and you get the other set.
And one thing I kind of want to point out here with my Sealy. Again, my Sealy is only, she's not even at 2,000 attacks. So yeah, she is not doing a lot of damage. But again, I was able to do everything in the game. I was able to get to the game just fine. And I was able to form everything just fine. You don't need an, all that big attack to get through everything in the game. It does help to clear things faster. But again, I kind of want to prioritize my account so I got to this point to pretty much do proper relic forming to get the better stats. So don't feel like you have to have all that attack and do all the big insane amounts of damage to get through the game. It is not needed. It's just going to take you a little bit longer. Um, I might go ahead and just put Seelie as my support for right now. I guess I don't really need to because my Wilt's level 79 is almost there. Nah, because I got the light cone, so yeah, we'll use, we'll, I'll put Sully as my support. I have been liking the credits from people using the support character, so. Okay, she's pretty much dead. And we got the double relics. Double relics. All right. I'll be honest, I haven't looked up my sub stats on this game in forever. I don't even know if I got a better boot set. All right, so we got attack, effect hit rate, effect hit rate automatically, not good. Break effect automatically, not good. So not good, we all top percent, but defense and break effect waste. So not good sub stats there. So that is not a good roll, but we now can at least get two at a time, so I do uh, love that. Love it, love it, love it. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for this video. I just want to showcase me getting TL60 because it's been a minute since we did a Hawkeye Star Rail video. I really don't want to be the news guys. Like, hey, check out this week. News, 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 news. I I'm not the news guy. I, I kind of want to be, a, you know, a gameplay and kind of do the videos when I feel like it. I don't really want to be news in your face all day every day i'm not the news channel that's not me um i, I am doing a lot of block cover mobile content so i did kind of want to take this video as an opportunity to kind of let you guys know i'm not quitting hunk star rail yes we are doing a lot of block cover mobile content because it's a main game just like this one no i understand that a lot of you guys might not care about block cover mobile maybe you just want to watch them to support the channel even if you don't watch Black Clover Mobile, like, oh my god, he's Black Clover Mobile again, screw that game. You're not going to hurt my feelings. I'm not I don't, I'm not a big YouTuber, bro. I don't have thousands of subscribers. I'm not big on YouTube. I don't really care about being big on YouTube. I upload videos for fun. So again, if somebody doesn't want to watch a video, it's perfectly fine with me. Most people just probably watch them to support the channel. I know I got two friends of mine that watch all my videos no matter what. She doesn't even play video games. She just watches them just to hear me talk. So I appreciate the support to any of you guys that do support the channel. If you guys do want to see more of me, maybe you guys don't like Black Cover Mobile and you feel like I'm not giving you enough Hawkeye Star Rail and you want to see something different. Um, you guys might want to check out my main channel here, Fansot Tanaka. So this is my console gaming slash PC gaming channel. So I do do a lot of uploads on console gaming. Yes, I have not uploaded in a month, but if you haven't seen me before, I have 291 videos for you guys to check out. I'm probably going to be uploading on this main channel again pretty soon. I believe we got, what, the next Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel game coming out. I don't have a filter, so yes, you will see a sort of different side of me on this main channel, but I just kind of want to just let you guys know, this main channel is here, so if you want to get to it, again, on my main channel right here for the mobile gaming, main channel, click on it, boom, right there. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I will be doing a video over the patch 1.1 live stream if it's in english we will just redo a whole reaction to it if it's not in english then again we will just do a brief overview of what we got showcased in the game anyway i will see you in the next video take it easy